everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about short run and long run equilibrium under monopoly market monopoly is a market condition where a single seller selling his unique product monopoly is a market condition where single seller selling his unique product that means his product is very unique he don't have any close substitute in market for example gas electric and water companies microsoft also have monopoly in their personal computer operating system that means their computer operating system are so unique they don't have any close substitute in market first of all we are going to talk about short run equilibrium under monopoly market at short time period monopoly market mainly face three kind of uh, situation super normal profit normal profit and loss one by one we discuss about e first of all we are going to talk about super normal profit in this diagram on x axis we have output and y axis we have revenue cost and price first condition of super normal profit is marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue this mr is marginal revenue curve mc is marginal cost curve at this e point marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue that means our first condition is satisfied second condition is mc cut mr from below at this e point you can see mc become equal to mr by cutting from below that means e is stable equilibrium point after e point marginal cost start increasing that's why production more production will not beneficial for producer so e will be called stable equilibrium point at this equilibrium point our both condition is satisfied mc is equal to mr plus mc cut mr from below and third condition of super normal profit is average revenue is more than average cost this ar is average revenue curve now we will draw average cost curve so here you can see this tq this tq will be called our average cost this t point touches our average cost curve and this rq will be called average revenue this r point touches our average revenue curve so here you can see rq is more than tq that means average revenue is more than average cost and difference between average revenue and average cost this part rt rt will be called per unit super normal profit and this whole part kprt will be called total super normal profit of monopoly firm during short time period now we are going to talk about normal profit there are three conditions of normal profit mc equal to mr mc cut mr from below two conditions of a super normal profit and normal profit are same at this e point you can see mc equal to mr and mc cut mr from below so two conditions of normal profit are satisfied at this e point which are same as we earlier discussed in super normal profit third condition of normal profit is ar is equal to ac means average revenue is equal to average cost here you can see rq is our average cost because this r point touches our average cost curve and this r point also touches our average revenue curve so we can say that our average revenue also equal to rq rq is our average revenue rq is our average cost that means average revenue is equal to average cost so clearly see at oq amount of output we are receiving a normal profit because our all condition of normal profit are satisfied at this e point mc equal to mr plus mc cut mr from below at this r point you can see our average cost is equal to average revenue now we are going to talk about loss two conditions are same as we earlier discussed mc equal to mr and mc cut mr from below at this e point two conditions are satisfied third condition of loss is average cost is more than average revenue ar is our average revenue curve and this ac is our average cost so here you can see this tq this tq will be called our average revenue and this kq will be called average cost here you can see kq is more than tq that means average cost is more than average revenue and difference between average cost and average revenue is kt will be called per unit loss and this whole part p r k t will be called total loss of monopoly at short time period now we are going to talk about long run equilibrium under monopoly at short time period it can possible firm receive super normal profit normal profit or loss but at long time period firm have enough time to control its output and cost because all factors are variable second thing only single seller in market he doesn't have any close substitute 
that's why at long time period mostly firm will receive super normal profit in very few cases it can possible firm receive normal profit at long time period under monopoly market firm mostly receive super normal profit but in very few cases it can possible firm receive normal profit conditions of super normal profits are same as we earlier discussed only difference between is that we are taking longer than average revenue and longer than average cost because we are talking about long time period so at this e point both condition are satisfy mc equal to mr and mc cut mr from below this one is our longer than average cost and this one is our longer than average revenue so here you can see rq is our uh, average revenue and this TQ is our average cost and difference between average revenue and average cost is RT will be called per unit uh, super normal profit and this whole part K, K P R T will be called total super normal profit of monopoly at long time period. In very few cases monopoly will receive normal profit at long time period. This is a diagram of uh, normal profit. Diagram and conditions of normal profit are same as we earlier discussed in short time period. Only difference is that here we will write long run margin cost and long run average cost because we are talking about long time period. So this is all about shorter and long run equilibrium under monopoly market. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.